Right, so as you can see, we only have one bag on the left side. Probably 20 pounds right now, so it's a bit unbalanced. What we'll do at least is do a bit of a test right now. Head down to my sister's to drop off some things. It's going through the Finch Hydro Corridor. I don't want to be too fast around here. <laughs> People on bikes today. Get to see people on bikes. It's my old high school. I can go through the the woods. the quasi bike lanes of Birchmount. Birchmount is actually very suitable for biking all the way to the Gatineau corridor because it is wide enough to ride at least a meter from the curb and I believe it is a designated bike route in York region. It's fortunate that we're able to bike out during the pandemic. There's a lot less cars on the road, at least for the summertime. It'd be great to just bike around. Another cyclist right now on the road. Richmond is again very decent. It's wide. I guess yeah, because they repaved it, right? So, right, so I think we're approaching Steeles. This is the boundary of Toronto and York Region. We're getting to Markham, city of Markham. Yeah, it's a signed bike route. No route number, but it's a bike route. My take on riding on roads such as these on the suburbs, you want to be at least a meter away from the curb. Of course, there are people who will advise you, there are cyclists who will advise you to take the lane. Sensible. For me, at least a meter, maybe a meter and a half away, so I'm visible. And drivers will change lanes. Typically on a weekday, during rush hour, this route would be busy. Commuters from uh, Scarborough and Toronto to work in York Region. During the weekend, it's actually quite a decent bike route, especially when this leads all the way to downtown Markham. And it's good tarmac too, unlike all the other roads. All right, we're almost near downtown Markham. And as you can see, there are bike lanes ahead. If only this thing would turn green. <laughs> it would be fun to just coast through. Or maybe not. <laughs> it would have been fun if we were red. I mean green. But I did try biking to work from my parents' house to here and it's actually quite cool. Although, at the time I was using a fixed gear. There's some Canada geese. There's a Canada geese crossing here. It'll only take 15 minutes by car. So bike, by bike maybe 30 minutes on a good day. Right now I'm at 21 minutes. So again, not bad considering. I mentioned that the underpass that we went through just now is the Highway 407 Toll Expressway. This is downtown Markham. 
All right, let's uh, take a look. So my right is the Cineplex, on the left is a bunch of other shops. <laughs> Very empty. Red light runner, red light runner. This neighborhood is not dense enough yet, but it's upcoming. A lot of empty space up ahead. So I head back to Birch Mount. It's a BRT route for Viva on the left side there on the stop. A lot of construction debris on the uh, bike lane here. Quite a good route as well for other places in Markham, Richmond Hill and Vaughan. Highway 7 is just around the end of this road. They do have a beautiful cycle track, which we'll check out right now. And we're crossing the Rouge River. I didn't even know this was the Rouge River. <laughs> what do I see up ahead? Let's check it out. As you can see, there are plenty of parking spaces on my right. A bit too close for comfort because I might get doored. This person. She's over there. I get a bread. She's wondering. There are perfectly good spots over there. <laughs> People are lazy. Let's ride the cycleway. These are, I believe, the Highway 7 cycleways, cycle paths, however you want to call them. I don't know, I think they go all the way to Unionville. I like the design of these uh, cycle tracks. That's what they're called, they're cycle tracks. <laughs> the cycle tracks down here and on Highway 7. They've got a dedicated left turn lane for cyclists over there. I would say this is one of the best suburban bike infrastructure I've ever seen in my life other than in the Netherlands. Ooh, big Hummer. Big Hummer. Yeah, this is well designed, I think. But it ends somewhere. And I'll show you where. I believe it ends down Kennedy. Oh, no, 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 it ends around here. See? And guess what? You know where it ends? Sharrows, baby! Sharrows! Because it goes through Old Unionville and then from there, press this big button. So there aren't any more bike lanes here past. We've got two sidewalks here. And I see the beginning of another bike lane over there. Here we are. I believe this goes all the way to Woodbine. Quite a long cycle route. I've tried it before. It's really good. Have good brakes. Social distancing. Social distancing. Mm -hmm. 
It's a red light for all. <laughs> uh, I'll press the big button. Big button. I want a big button for crossing. Big button. It's a nice neighborhood too. Dropping off some sourdough. And there's Highway 7. 